now invite Dr. Avinash Kumar from NCPR to talk on the recent record low in the Antarctic. So good afternoon everyone. I am going to talk about the recent sea ice record and the role on the ocean atmospheric forcing on the Antarctica. So as we heard from morning since morning, the Arctic is warming and it's a four times. But we could see that how the, what is the impact is happening on Antarctica. So this is the one figure which have kept it is their source about the summer of Antarctica and the winter. You could see there is a, how the asymmetry characteristic is there. Summer is very less, it is about the two to three million square kilometers and the, the winter it goes about the 18 million square kilometer. And although we can see the Antarctica, Antarctica is, uh, it's not like uh, people say that uh, since 2015 we were studying and we were finding that Antarctica is growing and the sea ice is growing. But uh, from the sudden, from 2015 onwards, we could see there's Antarctica sea ice is suddenly it is getting to be dropped. So as we have heard from morning since morning, this uh, Antarctica's uh, our global warming is happening. How does, you can see that from the so last 150 years, we could see that uh, Antarctica's uh, its entire globe is warming. And the 2012, 2022, which was the like, you know, sixth warmest period which has been recorded. And I think the animation is not working. Other it says that uh, from the last 150 years, that it's warming, but last 40 years, it has become a rate of 0.2 centigrade per, per, uh, per decade. And which it's approximately now it is for about the one, centi one, one centigrade we are close to that, we are reaching on that. So, so we can see the right now the records for the CIS variability. That's what we were saying that uh, Antarctica CIS from the since 15, uh, 2015, it was growing. And we could see the summer and the winters maximum. It was very close. It was not very much changes was there in the trends. And we, that suddenly happened in the 2000, uh, 2022 was the second lowest record was there. And the, and the next lowest record which we got the first lowest is in 2000, 2023. So we could see there is a there is a trend, but it is, was not positive. Also very positive, it was thus not significant. But uh, we can see from the 15 onwards, the trend is very significantly reducing the Antarctic sea ice. And 2023, which we have recorded 1.7 million square kilometers, so which is the lowest record until the from the satellite era. So we can see that uh, the where it is happening, these changes is happening where we can see the 2000, 2022. We could see there is a Amundsen and Wellington Sea. There is a major CIS has been reduction. We could find the Weddell Sea. There is a more reduction has been found as well as in the Roche Sea. And 2023, we could see there is a, that it's a the CIS decline has further enhanced. And especially in the Amundsen region, there is a no CIS becoming as this summer. So this is a really very clear pictures. And uh, since morning also, there was showing an article also, we could see that the, how the CIS has been changed in the ranking map. We could see that uh, from the 2016 onwards, up to 16, there was a very, uh, 2020, uh, 2015, there was a sea ice was very high. And suddenly from the 16, we can see from the spring period, especially in the first spring period, it has started to be, uh, it's the lowest record has been recorded. And the, since now in 2020, and 23, it's a picture is very clear. And we say that the warming, the ocean warming is also having a major impact. We could see from the ranking map from the 2016 onwards, it's very, very warm. But air temperature is having a not very clear pictures what we have got it from there. So the study says that uh, if you look at the possible cause, what was the happening in the Antarctic sea has declined. So it is 2016, it is like uh, we had a paper has been reported that ocean warming was the one of the factors which has affected the southern Southern was the advection of atmospheric heat and the weakening of the southern hemisphere mid, mid latitude westerlies, which was the reason. And further, that 2016 also has been recorded that the, uh, the it was the lowest record because due to the super Lino was formed during the 2016. And uh, this was also uh, another paper which has been reported that uh, Amundsen sea low it was deepened, and because of that, the CIS re reduction were majorly found in the Amundsen regions. But now we have, uh, in our study, we have done in 2020-2022, we reported that this was the major happening in the second lowest record which has happened due to the Amundsen sea low was the dominant factor as well as the SAM has a major role on this. So further, uh, to move about the first factor which we are talking about, the global role of the global warming. So we could see that there is one paper, very recently paper has published in the nature 
They have said that 2017, which you could look at the lowest record, which is very clearly mixed by subsurface profile of the bottom water. You can see the Southern Ocean is warming, and very clearly also in the Weddell Sea, it has been very clearly recorded wherever the warming has happened. Thus, some, some same period, you can see there is a CS lowest record has been done. And this is also says that the warming of the ocean, it has a transport from the mid-latitude regions, the water has entered in the Antarctic region, and the bottom, bottom melting is happening in that region very fast. So when we see the, uh, this year we have just computed about the, we could see the, about the how the La Lina, because we, we say that uh, during the La Lina period 2022, but we have a lowest record we have observed. So we could see that in the spring, during the September, October, and November, it was the, it was the cooling, the ocean was cool, even the summer it was the strong La Lina was formed, but still we had a re reduction was very high. Even we see the 2022, during the spring, La Lina was weakened, but and also the weak El Nino has been formed during the summer period of 2023. But during this period also in the La Lina 2022, it was the os global ocean warming, it was, a 20, it was the fifth warmest period has been recorded during the, the La Lina period. So to understand this, uh, the processes, what could be the reason that uh, Antarctic sea is getting to be lower and lower, so that is one more factor, it is very important, which we observed, that is Amundsen Sea Low. So low pressure, which is located mostly on the southern Pacific Ocean region, and uh, of the, off the coast of uh, Antarctica, we could see the blue patches, which is uh, Amundsen Sea Low. And we could see when the low is happening, what could is happening during that period of the Rose series. And you can see the, the southerly wind is strong, and that what is happening pushes the ices, ice from sea ice from the, the coastal ice to the further region, and that's create the polonias is forming, and the coastal polonia is more dominant, and during that, if the polonia is forming, the, the radiation will be more, ocean will be more warmer, and that during subsequent period, it is getting to be reduced. Also to the sea from the ground, we have just uh, validated with the, the how this, uh, uh, this polar cap height is working with the stratospheric warm, like strengthening. We could see that uh, we have taken the polar cap height from the 20, 50, uh, 10 to 50, uh, HPA and which find that it is, has been uh, negative in the last last 22 and 23 periods and which is having the strengthening of the of the uh, westerlies and as well as the polar vortex. So so when we see the, about this all the things happening, there is another factor was the role of the zonal wave three pattern. So this is nothing. It is about the characteristic of the low and high pressure around the southern hemisphere and the stratigraphical region. So positive and negative phase indicate that what is a flow is from the meridional flow will be higher, or it is from the zonal flow will be there. We could see from the graph and picture we can see whenever the low is forming, the southerly wind is very dominant, and the northerly wind dominant. It's warm water coming from the northern region, and it is getting to be melted. And when it is the high is forming, when it is water is from especially the winds from the uh, Amundsen uh, Rossi region. It's having pushing effect, and it is creating the polonias, and a lot of changes has been happening. So this we have also recorded in January and February. We could see there is a very three lows and three high we have observed in uh, our say our sector also. Wherever we see that is the coastal sea ice has been melted drastically. Further than the pushing effect, we could we could see there is a concentration higher in the upper regions. So this is the graphs which we have plotted. We have from the September, October, November, and December. We could see. So when it is the, the uh, Amundsen Sea low, ASL was strengthened, especially in October region, you can see. November is subsequently getting to be destroyed, and, the, and subsequently in January, you could see there is a wave journal pattern three has been formed. And this is very clearly observed, as well as what we have talked about, the polar cap height. So when we see the, it, we have seen the, from the ground, we could see that from the upper atmosphere, what is happening exactly. So we could see that the, how the, from the stratospheric region to the, the bottom, how the atmosphere is dealing about the temperature. We could see there is a, from the equator region to be in go about the pole, up to 500 HPA. You can see there is a warming effect is complete from the, from the equator to that pole region. So this is the another factor which is very important to reclining on the CIS in the Antarctic region. So as per the record in 2022, we could see there is a trend which shows that uh, how this in the sub September, October, and November, and as well as January. January, you could see there is a drastic decline in the throughout from the 2015 to onwards and to 2022. And this record has a very good 
record which we observed, it is at last 2022, which we observed, it is a 23% per lower than the 2021 summer record. So this is very uh, different picture what we have observed. And this is about the final about, my think that responses, how this responses happen. So we, we have seen that in the sector wise, how the sector wise, there is a CS concentration has reduced and the role of the pressure, how the low pressure, you can see there is a low pressure region is very clearly forming in the Amundsen and Rose Sea region, Amundsen and Weddell Sea region. And therefore you can see there is a CS reduction is very clearly observed in that period. And even see the last is the wind pattern. Uh, the meridional wind pattern, you can see the, how the south, southward and northward wind is going and which is influencing the, as a working as a driver for the CIS reduction. So this is the latest record from the Copernicus African and uh, we could see that is uh, from the 2015 onwards, it is great reduction is there. They have also calculated, this is the 34% reduction from the since 19, 20, 1991 to 2020 average we have taken and it is about 44% reduction has been recorded in Antarctic see a record and this is about one of the recent analysis which we have done which found that in this year to 2023 february the the wind because we have not found any cmns and low this year has formed that much but only we have got the positive sam was very dominant in this year also because of that we could see there is a, an early period you the red patches you are seeing the cs concentration and you can see the bend pattern it's having a pushing effect from the south to the north northern regions and that's why you are getting in that that reason and further when you move about that uh, january and february you could see there is a drastic decline on the cis concentration so this is the one of the important uh, observation what we have done and uh, what we can summarize this entire thing that the cs maximum cis recession has been happened in the ross sea weddell sea and the indian ocean while the advancing has taken in the wellington thing and also which we see there as a amundsen sea low was depressed in the 2021 which is the from the last uh, like what we can say the last from since 50, 1950 and which has led to the strong uh, stratospheric polar vortex and Lalina conditions. Also we have done the CIS lowest record and resulted uh, the cumulative response of the SAM and deepening. So and uh, this is the my talk and uh, I think thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>